What's up, guys? Been a while since I did a talking head video, but I wanted to talk about this new Intel information we have about their graphics drivers, which are going to be the integrated drivers, not the ones on like the Arc series or like the B580, A770. Those drivers are fine, but the drivers from 11th gen to 14th gen are going to be ending support on the CPU itself. And I want to go over what this means and why it's important, why it might not be important. Let's just talk about it. But before we get into that, if you guys are into computer fixes, PC builds, benchmarks, and even some news occasionally, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I try my hardest not to accept any sponsors unless it's like a really good sponsor for you guys, and I have none at the moment. So just drop a like, subscribe if you want, and let's get back to the content. So I actually found this about a week ago. This is from eTechnics. He's also, I believe, a YouTube channel out of the UK. Um, I'll link this post down below. But I did wait around for about a week before talking about this. I was wondering if anyone else was going to be talking about it, and I haven't seen too many YouTubers comment on this. So I want to go over a few reasons why this is probably important, not that important. But for starters, let's just jump over to ChatGPT right here. Apparently, almost 8% of the entire Steam survey is still using integrated graphics. Again, AI, you got to be really careful with AI because a lot of times it's incorrect. And according to a few other places that I looked around, it seems like the laptops will also have this actual impact. So I actually think that this is kind of a huge problem and a little bit understated because let's say you're playing a esport game with one of your friends and they play on a laptop. Uh, let's say it's Valorant or something like that. And Valorant gets an update. The laptop that the friend is playing on, maybe you're fine on your discrete graphics card, your NVIDIA 4080, whatever it might be. And the person playing on the iGPU that's in the laptop is going to suffer from that update and they might not get patches. There might be stuttering issues, bugs, crashes, whatever it might be. Intel is not going to be fixing that anymore. They're basically they're, they're going to be doing bug fixes occasionally and doing some security updates. But overall, all the game stuff all the way up to 14th gen, which 14th gen is a little bit old, but it's not that old, all things considered. And in fact, Intel even knows this because they occasionally go back or are even talking about going back and re-releasing a 14th gen processor, which never came to fruition. But the idea here is that we're actually losing quite a powerful little tool that's included in these CPUs. And it's kind of concerning considering Intel is in such a crappy position as it is. Now, for me, I actually utilize the quick sync in the iGPU that comes on the 14900K. That is my main CPU and the quick sync. I'm not sure if they're going to be dropping updates, but I can tell you this. Every time I get a big update from DaVinci Resolve, which uses QuickSync for H.265 and H.264, I have strange issues with the 5090 that I use, and sometimes I'll have to go and uninstall and reinstall the drivers or wait for a update, depending on what the situation is. This is going to be a little confusing if Intel is not going to be updating the iGPU drivers, are there going to be issues? I don't know. This is something that um, I'm not sure about, but as time goes on, I'm sure there's going to be less and less support. This also brings up another topic, which is the gaming handheld space. There's quite a few different gaming handhelds out there, and a lot of them use AMD, but a lot of them are starting to use Intel as well, like the MSI Claw. And I'm wondering if they're going to be dropping support on stuff like that that soon. How long is it going to be before they start dropping updates and support on something like the MSI Claw? Um, these are just concerns that you would have as time goes on. You have AMD literally launching new processors for a eight year old, nine year old platform. And Intel is not even supporting their iGPU. That's like from a CPU from a couple of years ago. Now, I get also that this iGPU is old and it's been around since the 11th gen and they keep reusing it and reusing it, and reusing it. But Whose fault is that? Now, it's not all doom and gloom for Intel these days. It does seem like they have some stuff going on. We have their NVIDIA situation that's going down. We have the government funding that's going down. But overall, these little tiny maneuvers like this are making it less and less viable to, to be like, oh yeah, go buy an Intel CPU. And honestly, guys, sometimes there's amazing deals on these CPUs. Like just recently, there was a Battlefield combo with I believe it was like a 14600K or something like that and Battlefield for extremely cheap. It was like basically the price of the processor and you got the game for free. And so a lot of people are just buying the, the CPU and flipping the CPU just so they can get the game for free. So there are these deals that pop up that are really decent deals, 
but it's so hard to recommend this platform as time goes on it's like not only do we have we've had all these different problems over the years and just to, to, to put yourself back in the news for something negative is just a strange thing to do at this point um they should have kept it going for at least another year or something and got back on their feet and then maybe ditched it after that i don't know anyways guys just a short video on that i wanted to talk about it, it was just kind of pissing me off that intel just keeps making these weird moves um they really need to step back into the market strong and yeah tell me what you guys think down in the comments uh what's your thoughts on this do you care about igpus this is quite a few people on the laptop as far as i can tell so if you're on a laptop and you're running an igpu to play some fortnite or whatever it might be and some of these igpus they can run the games decently not very well but just enough to get along and actually random gaming in hd has a great video on this if you want to see what a 14900k's igpu can do um counter strike alone you know you're seeing around 60 fps not a amazing experience uh but still playable so if you have a laptop that has a decent igpu in it and you want to play some games it's not primarily a gaming computer but you use it every once in a while to boot up or maybe it's your only computer we gotta remember that some places in this world the people have what they have and the best thing that they have could be this and look at that even gta 5 is completely playable so i would say that it's kind of a shame that they are not going to be supporting this you know you, you use the laptop to, to do your homework and then you can get like a 60 fps low experience on a laptop and so people are happy with that sometimes and yeah it just kind of sucks so let me know your thoughts down below and i'll see you guys in another video bye